This is what uh, I love about gardening. Uh, you grow your own harvest and of course eat your harvest at the same time. But uh, the most fulfilling is no, and you know exactly no, to yourself that you're eating organic, fully grown vegetables and leafy vegetables. And one of these uh, vegetables that I have here on my rooftop gardening is this commodity tabs from Iloilo City. I brought this when I went home last year, or two years ago, I think. And along this, uh, along this uh, taro, this taro is uh, very delicious when you cook laing. It's one of the sankab for laing. And look at that, my God, no? <clears throat> no? Only fish sauce, tomato, and and calamansi. You know, we got calamansi too. You know, the reason why we grow calamansi because we love calamansi for drinks and for uh, ingredients in our cooking. In the Philippines, we used uh, most of the time uh, calamansi over uh, manao, but uh, there's no manao actually in the Philippines. I have one in our farm in Tamangas. So I'm planning to uh, 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 graft it when I go home and uh, let's see, you know, let's spread the uh, variety of Manao in the Philippines. Manao is really good for, uh, what is this, um, tum yum, no? tum yum. Look at that, no? we have planted no? our pots with Kamoti taps and in between is the taro. <coughs> the reason why I uh, changed ornamental plants to edible ones because you no know, ornamental is only for your eyes. But this one uh, is for our stomach. We need food to survive. And one thing we can do is to plant our own and do not rely purely on market in the market. In the market most of the most of the uh, vegetables and fruits no, are GMO produced. G GMO produced. So here, here here's mine. This uh, papaya tree has been grown for two years already and I haven't seen any progress no? that's showing the uh, flowers to bear fruits and what I did last week you know, I grafted it and now I'm waiting for another three weeks no? to see the result if the roots no, uh, are showing and then that's the time that uh, perfect time to uh, cut over here and uh, plant it in a pot no? so we, I need to buy a bigger pot for this uh, dwarf no? may say may say a dwarf uh, grafted uh, papaya I'm very happy to show you that all our pots are covered with green commodity tops look at that I have harvested many times already and I'm planning to harvest all this next week and to sell in the office. I know Filipino teachers would love to eat and would love to incorporate this in their cooking. Now, the only manure that I used for these plants here in our rooftop garden is the rice hull and at the same time the cows uh, uh, manure that I bought in bypass rajabri look at that now mm, see to share with you also that uh, our air drying is working and this is about to pucked and ready for sale
or for consumption. We can cook delicious lying this time around. So guys, if you are planning to have your own garden, but there's no space enough for gardening, try to consider rooftop gardening or backyard gardening with the pots. Or you can use your empty bottles like this. I'll show you. Empty bottles and cut it in half to start your mini, your mini garden. This one is a yellow croutons where I bought this in my best raspberry. Yeah. This one I offer this as a gift to my friends here in raspberry and other things that other stuff, other and nationality that would love to. And even I offer this <coughs> uh, to the uh, what is this? Uh, uh, orphanage in Swanpeng with Sister Miana and the children. I handily, together with uh, my students, former students, uh, planted around the orphanage to beautify it. Look at that now. Aside from this, we have collagens and other uh, uh, rare plants a monstera very with variegation a variegated one and the green giant uh, monstera up there oh, delicious so that's all for now guys and see you again on the next vlog thank you very much and god bless everyone enjoy farming and enjoy gardening